What's going on, you bloopity bloop bloopers? Doing your blooping stuff. Blooping it up. Shout out to Gordon Paul, who uh, is kind of, kind of famous in this uh, video realm on Facebook and worldwide. Check him out. He's a pretty amazing um, teacher. Teaches people how to do uh, really good video. And um, to be honest, I can only hope to do as well as he has. So shout out to Gordon Paul. Um, I'm just a, a lowly life coach um, trying to bring some, uh, just, a, just 1%, just trying to make everybody who's watching this video, who's working with me, just 1% better every day. And, and today, I want to respond to a comment that I got on one of my posts. And I was talking about how to, um, you know, help people with stress, how to, to change the stress response, how to, to, you know, make someone's life 1% better. And someone responds with, why? Because it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I don't know if you spend much time on Facebook, uh, you know, in like the, the stress relief, depression, anxiety groups. Um, you know, there are many people that say, oh, this doesn't work, that doesn't work, right? And, and it's because they're approaching it, whatever it is, their, their situation, and the relief that something or drug or you know, breathing technique or whatever it is, um, is supposed to help them with, they're approaching that in this emergent situation. And they're expecting that when they take the pill, it's gonna make it go away just like that. And, and it's kind of obvious that that's not necessarily gonna work. Uh, I mean, how long has it been that you've been, you know, dealing with the situation or you know, the thing that you're trying to fix. Like, it's taken a while to get to that point, right? So it might take a little bit of time, you know, whatever it is, whether it's, you know, antidepressants, whether it's, you know, cognitive behavioral therapy, you know, whether it's a novel breathing technique, whatever it is, um, it may take some time to work with it, right? And... And that's the thing, it's, uh, you know, it takes practice. All of it takes practice and time and, you know, some effort. So, uh, shout out to Maxwell. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the chat and I'll, I'll try to uh, answer them. But um, it's all about, you know, if you approach it in an emergent situation, then, you know, of course it's not going to, it's certainly not going to get you here like that, you know. It's going to, you know, if you, if you try the breathing techniques, if you, you know, start working with them and you, you know, put the practice in, put the time in, then, you know, statistics say, evidence shows that this stuff works. Especially when we're talking about the 4x4, four four, which is something that I talk about. I mean, that's a, a neurologically based technique. So either your neurology is bad and it's completely like, unlike everyone else's, or it just may take some time. So I encourage you to, to think about that. You know, no matter what it is, um, I'm doing good. Thanks, Maxwell. I appreciate that. You're awesome. Um, but no matter what it is, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time for you to get good at it for whether it's a breathing technique, you know, even if you take antidepressant drugs, those aren't even gonna take effect really for, you know, around two weeks, because it has to build up a level, right? So uh, just think about that. Um, no matter what situation, whatever it is you're trying to do, there is, you know, it is gonna take some time before you get whatever the result it is, especially if you're looking for a big result. Right? Big results take time, uh, you know, 
then that's just the reality. If everybody could get the, the big result with, you know, one effort, then it wouldn't be called the big result. It'd just be called a result. And then it'd be something else you'd have to do. So just think about that as you're moving along in, in through your day, um, you know, uh, that it's going to take practice. Practice. I know that sounds hard, doesn't it? Like, oh man, I have to practice. Well, yes. You have to get practice because you have to get good at it. Because a habit, just talking about neurology here for a minute, a habit is literally a highway that you've done this thing so much that now there is literally like a freeway in your brain that every time you need to do that thing or you're going to do that thing, whether it's a bad habit, whether it's a good habit, it's literally a freeway and it's really fast. That's why like when you're trying to do something new, it takes a minute because your brain is literally creating the path to do that thing. So if you're trying to change a habit or you're trying to create a habit, Think about it like that. Every rep, everything that you do, you're literally building, you know, and then when, once it's a habit, you just, bam, just like running up the stairs, right? Like if you really want to mess yourself up, try to think about it while you're running up the stairs. And by putting the thought into that, just be careful, like hold a rail or something, because you may fall. Because your brain is so used to doing that thing because there's literally like a highway. So that's why it's so challenging to, to, to make a habit, to, to change a habit. Because if you're changing a habit, now you're literally having to break up that path that has been built all of those years. Not to mention the, you know, all the other stuff that comes with you know, breaking a habit. So be patient with yourself. Regardless, whether you're learning, learning, whether you're trying to break up a habit, whatever it is, be patient with yourself. Be patient with the results that you get. And then commit to it. And I bet it works for you, whether it's the 4x4, four four, you know, what, whatever it is. Um, if you're interested in the 4x4 four four technique, you can definitely reach out, out to me on, on Facebook Messenger and, uh, and I will get you a, a video that kind of explains some of those concepts. All right. Namaste, everybody. Peace, Maxwell.